Hello, and welcome back to Spotlight. I'm playing a, an old favorite of mine. Uh, this is Captain Forever. Um, this specifically is Captain Forever, but this more specifically is the Captain Forever trilogy. Um, there are three of these games, and they're all collected together in uh, one package, which you can check out the link in the description if you want to check this game out. Um, I'm going to be playing a little bit of this, and I'm going to be playing the two uh, sequels in this video. So, um, what is Captain Forever, and why Why do I love this game so much? Well, uh, this is, like as I say, an old favorite of mine, and it's basically a kind of a rogue-ish um, sandboxy space game. I say sandboxy space game, but... Like a lot of space games, you know, it could really take place anywhere. This could be underwater, this could be on the seas, it could be anywhere where you think you could do some traveling and uh, floating around and kind of a, you know, um, I, I mean, there is actually drag on our ship, so I don't know. It makes almost more sense for it to be in the ocean. But uh, anyway, what do you do in Captain Forever? Well, as you can see, I'm shooting some some other ships and we're gonna collect these parts and slap them on our ship kind of like uh, some you know a poor man's Lego um, there's a few space games that take advantage of kind of like a uh, you know Lego based or uh, you know modular based kind of part system that uh, lets you you know slap stuff on your ship uh, another game that comes to mind is, uh, I mentioned this in my last Spotlight video, which was Space Pirates and Zombies, I think it's called, Space Pirates and Zombies, which I will probably cover, and no, not every Spotlight game is going to be a space game, uh, I just happen to like space games quite a bit, um, and, uh, you know, these are, these are some of my favorites, and there's a, there's a reason, as I said in the beginning, why I'm covering this, is, uh, well, I don't want to put the dev on the spot because, you know, they, they, they might change their mind, but there was going to be a fourth Captain Forever game, which I was very excited about at the time because it seemed really cool. You might be able to, you know, you might notice this might be off-putting for you, and it's not really for me, but I like it. Uh, I like it f for what it is, is um, Captain Forever, the original Captain Forever is almost feels like an arcade game, you know, in its simplicity. It's not really um, a space sandbox game in the traditional sense. It is um, pretty tame. I don't know. In, in, in terms of its depth, it, it's, it is, as I say, an arcade game. You just kind of, you know, blow up other ships and upgrade your ship until you're at a state where you can you know, weather the oncoming waves of uh, more more and more dangerous um, kind of enemies, and eventually, you know, either you die or you win, and that's, you know, I, I guess it's, you could say that Captain Forever is like Game of Thrones, like, <laughs> couldn't, couldn't get away with it. Um, so, you know, what what uh, what are the sequels like? What how does this whole thing develop? And you might have you might re recall there is actually I wouldn't call it a sequel. It was literally called a remix. I'm trying to figure out how to build my ship here in a in a pleasing way, but I don't think, know if it's going to happen. Um there was Captain Forever Remix, which was an uh, endeavor to kind of upgrade bring Captain Forever to the modern age. Because, I don't know, for some, I feel like this game's going to come across as being very, I don't know, dry? But I kind of like that about it. I kind of like how dry Captain Forever is. It's got this really interesting aesthetic. Oh, I don't want to take on that guy yet. Or maybe I do, actually. Um, I want that. You know, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't have a lot of, a very cutesy aesthetic as a lot of games tend to go for. Um, I want to get right behind this guy so I can blow up his cockpit. Oh! And I want to make sure I stay on the rear side of him. Ooh, hold on. I also, the, the interesting thing to me about, um, Captain Forever is you really got to be careful not to blow up too much of their ship, or otherwise you have nothing left to collect. Ouch. 
This guy has an interesting AI that is actually proving to be quite effective for him. All right, I can't, I can't really get to the other side of him. Maybe if I, no, that's not gonna do it. He's, he's gonna, okay, well, let's see if we can't get an angle on him. Hold on, oh! No! All right, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna panic a little bit. Hold on. I was uh, mid-thought there. Oh, this guy is going to tear me up if I'm not careful. Um, yeah, I mean, Captain Forever, can, can its aesthetic feels kind of dry. It, it, it kind of harkens back to a really old age of uh, simplistic games. Um, I forget what they were called. You know, like, this aesthetic is... Uh, I, I think it's Wireframe is kind of uh, the... the ooh, like, very narrowly threaded the needle there. I think there's a map, but there, I might be wrong about that. I might have also uh, screwed the pooch on this one a little bit, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to recover very much. Um, but yeah, like, there's there's not really, like, you don't you do not do any mining in, uh, in the Captain Forever. You don't really do any bounty hunting. You're just kind of shooting other ships and, and slapping them on, and I, I like that. I, you know, I kind of like how simplistic uh captain forever is it's it's also got like a mood you know to it it's i mean it's got music for one thing um and uh there are some actually there's some pretty complex parts as we move along the uh captain forever progress tree i'm thinking i might Ooh, actually if i can get that guy dead i might be able to recover a little bit but my my worry is that he can take me out with basically one shot Ooh. Okay, hold on. If I can just... There we go. Okay, well, we don't get the weapon, unfortunately, but we do get some more parts, and that'll that'll be good. What I might do... Oh, well, that's not exactly great. Um, you know, the where you put your parts really does kind of have an effect in this game. So, um, you don't want to just, like, put them anywhere. I think we'll be kind of balanced this way. It's not bad. Could be worse. This guy looks very immobile, so we might actually be able to get away with shooting him. I might have to blow up this gun, but that's okay. Uh, oh! No! That guy shot him into me! No! He's getting in my way. He's gonna... Okay. Oh, God. We're, we're not in a good place right now. The, the ships don't just get, like, tougher, they get strong, like, they get more, they take more damage, you know, like, their cockpit is, is, this guy is taking way more damage to destroy. Please, there we go, there we go. These, uh, these are gonna help us recover quite a bit. Um, that guy very fortunately ran away, so actually what I want to do is take these parts as well. I was like, I was thinking I was going to have to fight that guy off with a stick for a moment there. Um, this yellow one is unfortunately going to unbalance us because we don't, you know, you gotta, you gotta keep symmetry in mind when it comes to this game a little bit. What I actually, I think uh, what I want to do is kind of go crab mode a little bit. We're going to go, we're going to go crab mode and slap those parts on. And why not? We'll slap these parts on as well. We've lost a little bit of mobility, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Uh, I'm wondering maybe it would be better to put that on there and then it's a, it actually firing off would be not good for us. Um, if we could destroy this guy without destroying his booster, that'd be like swell. Oh god, I actually managed to catch it there, that was really cool. So we have these boosters on the side acting as um, like... Not s stabilizers, but uh, they, they're kind of rotating us around. We, we, these guys are going to be a problem. Okay, there we go. The color of the ships does definitely indicate, um, you know, the, the damage we can expect them to do. So what I want to do is slap that on there. I think there was another part somewhere over here. Yeah, I'm going to grab this. 
um, j just so that I have more s front space to um, put some more weapons because we are running out of space. Oh, he managed to destroy some of our weapons. Ooh, that guy's purple. And he's got really good mobility, and I don't. Oh, he destroyed like half of our engines. Um, yeah, this is this guy's gonna tear me up for sure. I'm not sure what I can do about this. Oh. No, he's... Yeah, okay, there it is. Okay, so what we're gonna do, if I manage to survive, is we're gonna take that weapon. And now we've become a very mobile little ship, and hopefully we can get lucky with another ship. Um, and take them out and grab grab some some engines and, and blocks and stuff. You also get like extra range. Oh, we don't want to get caught in that. I'm not expecting to win here. This game is actually difficult to, to win. Ooh, is that it? Is that game over? Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, let's... I, you know what? Let, let's move on to the next one. Uh, there is a fourth game in here. Um, let me see. Reboot. No, I want to... I want to quit to the main menu. There is a fourth game in here, but you have to win the three other games, and I haven't ever managed to do that, so, you know. So, Captain Successor is a very similar kind of game. You might be able to see that uh, right away. Um, you're still going to be slapping b blocks on your ship. Um, there's a bit more variety in the ship parts. Yo, you can, like, go away now. Um, and you might be able to notice there's a bit of variety in the background as well. This is a ramming spike. I don't know if we will really make much use of it. There's also different, uh, there's more variety in the booster types. These, uh, I think, yeah, these have actual, like, range of movement, which is kind of cool. Um, I think you also get, like, a different starting package depending on, uh, how, you know, it's, it's a little bit random. Oh, this guy's got shields. I'm trying my best to use these ramming spikes, but I've never been never been good with the ramming spikes. I guess we have a gun. We don't have to necessarily use the ramming spikes. I do want those shields. Those are some those are some good shields that we're gonna steal from this guy. Alright, I wanted those engine oh broke off the engine. Oh well. Alright, let's slap those on the front. That'll give us a little bit of, uh, yeah, let's get rid of these ramming spikes. They're, they're, like, not gonna be useful. No, there isn't really energy, um, I don't think there's energy management in this game, so we don't really have to worry about, oh, the shields are, require a certain amount of power. I don't think so. I think they just have a certain amount of hits before they have a, you know, they, they come off cooldown, basically. I wouldn't mind getting this guy's engine. We still have a, a law meter, almost like a, you know, kind of a <laughs> Grand Theft Auto-ish style. Um, you know, the more the more we kill the higher tier enemies that we're gonna come to expect. And uh, I mean, you saw that in the last game. Um, I, I was, I did pretty well, actually. That's that's better than I tend to do in the, the Forevers. Um, we w definitely want to, you know what, actually we could like, do something fun here where we put these shields on there I do want to get out of the way that guy's getting kind of close um, you'll see like blocks flash a little bit that just means that they're they're almost destroyed uh, this guy would be great if I could kill this guy he's got some good weapons on him and he doesn't seem to have too good mobility well he had great weapons on him but now he does not We'll throw this on here. Oh, he he did have some fun boosters. The, I like these boosters. They go on the sides. And um, they will basically... Um, they just fire forward. Um, you'll see. And they also make great uh, great rotation boosters because they can... They tend to rotate on the, the wide, wider axis. What happened to the background there? I think that that is an indication that we're going to expect harder enemies. What is this guy? 
Severity Bravo criminal activity detected in this area. Do not become a casualty practice. Safe piloting. If in distress, contact local, local author authorities for assistance. Alright. I don't I feel like that was the little information booth that I that spawned. There's also always like a little information thing that spawns in the Captain Forever game. I call them Captain Forever's. Only the first one is Captain Forever. And then all of the uh, future games were like, you know, named differently. Captain Successor, Captain uh, Imposter. Imposter is like one of the coolest versions. You'll see why. Um, it's one of, definitely one of my favorites. What is this? Repair tool. Oh, that'd be kind of nice. Um, so yeah, why am I covering uh, Captain Forever? Well, because uh, as I said, I didn't want to put the I don't want to put the dev on the spot, but they are working on the 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 true successor, which um, was something that was kind of teased a long, long time ago. I'm talking like maybe almost a full decade now. Originally called Captain Jameson, and now has been renamed uh, Captain Universe. Is it Ca Captain Forever Universe? Maybe this is the Captain Forever series. Who knows? Um, but Captain Forever, or Captain Jameson, was basically an attempt to turn this into a legitimate uh, space sandbox game, uh, complete with like oxygen management and energy, uh, more robust uh, library of um, blocks to take advantage of, and it was it looked really cool, and I was really looking forward to it as a lad, you know, like back in the day when. You know, we looked forward to things. I don't know. But, yeah, I, I really liked um, the Captain Forever games, and I was really looking forward to the prospect of a fleshed-out successor to this series where, you know, where you could, like, dock with stations and maybe do um, maybe do some, some mining or space trading and, you know, stuff like that. Like, it, it seemed like there was a lot of potential here. I, I like the simplicity of Captain Forever for sure and I would love if there was a sandbox for it to kind of continue that simplicity and there's already a beta if you have Captain Forever you can check out the beta of Captain Universe. I might cover it but it's very early so far um, but it's it, it's very much like this so far with uh, be the prospects of like you know bounty hunting and um, a huge novelty is you have currency that you can uh, you can sell parts for. Oh, this guy's gonna tear me up, isn't he? That spread shot is nasty. So these boosters are cool because they're like um, the you know embodiment of uh, the candle that burns twice as bright, burns half as long. Uh, they're a booster that give you a huge amount of boost for a very short period of time. And then they have to recover. Oh, please. I... Uh, oh, okay. We should be able to take this guy out. And I should be able to collect that weapon if I'm careful. I think these shields are actually doing the Lord's work for me. Okay, let's... I think our... Yeah, we, these are better off here. I, I was not getting that rotation I needed. He's got a lot of repair modules, so he, he's going to be hard to take out. Ooh, never mind. Okay, let's... Um, I like the idea of building our ship out of repair modules. That's kind of a cool idea I had, I'd never really considered. So let's slap all of this on. We could we could put these on the boost... on the on the shield modules in case, so that if they take damage, they'll, they'll get repaired. And let's get rid of that. And then instead put this here. Interesting how I don't know why the background is deforming like that. It's, it's kind of cool. Um, all right, so we want to put that on. So those are going to give us a nice boost of speed every once in a while. You gotta like you don't have a lot of downtime in Captain Forever, so you really gotta like make use of it while you've got it. Okay, so. Yeah, so you can see we get like a nice boost of paint. Oh, that guy's, I think that's a pink ship. Depending on how strong they are, we might want to try and take them on. Uh, all right, let's check out the pink ship. Okay, let's kind of look at them from a distance. And I think they actually don't really have a lot of 
in the in the range of damage. An interesting quirk of Captain Forever, you might hear it really softly in the background, is as you get um, bigger and bigger weapons, you actually, it kind of contributes to the music. There's kind of a, almost a theme to uh, Captain Forever that develops over time, which, uh, I don't know, like I just have a huge soft spot for, for this series, so I kind of like all of its various parts. Um, let's slap these on, but I don't really have much in the way I could do with this. You know what? Let, hold on. Let's um, let's put this in the back so we can develop backwards and then we'll put these. I'm, I'm basically like, <laughs> this is probably not a good way of playing this game, but what I'm, I'm trying to do basically is like uh, create bigger, uh, a shell around our, uh, <laughs> our ship that is like growing outwards um and like the the closer in you get the the softer the in, like interior i guess a hard exterior and a soft interior so what is this trans rotator echo what does this do oh i think this uh i think it's this is one of these like freedom of movement modules which are actually pretty cool okay let's see um let's have a look at this guy over here and see how big Oh, he's actually not too bad. He's got a couple of weapons. He's got a huge mobility, but um, these like randomly placed boosters might actually hurt him. Might just like make him rotate in, in spot, in place. Yeah, in fact, not even rotate. Well, okay, kind of. Oh, this was actually two ships. Didn't realize that. This guy doesn't have any weapons. Which is great. Unfortunately, um, I don't think I'm going to be able to kill him without basically destroying everything. This is the, the interesting dilemma of the Captain Forever games is you have to kill the uh, ships without destroying them. <laughs> which is not easy to do. So um, maybe with the best we can hope for from this guy is we can... Uh, wow, he's really making it difficult for us to not destroy everything. Uh, the best we can hope for maybe is is uh, collecting a few more parts. Okay. Um, I don't know. Not much benefit to killing this guy, but we'll do it. I don't know what those parts on the sides are. They're kind of interesting. Well, I don't know if that, those are parts. Are they parts? They look weird. I, I don't remember those parts at all. They seem, they're like bouncing our shots back at us. There we go. Yeah, what are these? Blurst shields. All right, that's it. That's neat. Let's uh, let's throw some blur shields on our front there. I don't, I don't, I really don't remember those. Don't be shell selfish. Share those mods of yours. No thanks. There's uh, some white parts. I think white parts are like the basically the best that you can hope for. Things are our our ship is getting pretty pretty chonk, which is nice. And it's it's got mobility. I find mobility is almost more helpful in this game than. Uh, anything else. I really want to destroy that thing, but if it gets a couple lucky shots on us, it could really take us out. No, no, stop this. Okay, we destroyed its weapon, unfortunately. Howling. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get over here! As you can see, like, even just the pilot, I really want those parts. Do not destroy those parts. Um, even just, like, the cockpits get um, pretty tanky in the later stages of this game. I really like the, the music in this game. It's just, like, the ambient kind of serene music is, is really nice. Kind of nice just to see how, how far we've come by tearing up a... A green dude, we're not even going to salvage their parts. Terrain is 
deforming again, I might in a way tell us or inform us that we are progressing in a strange way. Okay, so there's a purple dude. Not pink, but purple. Oh, that guy got a shot on us. So, uh, do we want to take them on? They're going to do some damage to us for sure. They've got that freedom of movement module that I mentioned. Those are really cool if you can actually get enough of them. You can see what how it kind of works. Like, oh, we lost our best weapon. Uh, this guy could really tear us up if we're not careful. There's a hefty dude. We, maybe we want to give up on this dude. Here's, here's what I'm thinking. You might think that uh, this is just like not going to happen here. Um, but hear me out. If we could make our ship thin enough, kind of redesign things a little bit here. Hey dude, I'm done with you. I'm done with you. Get out of here. I'm, uh, what I'm gonna do is try and get fit ourselves in here. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna take a risk. And then we want we want to fit like we want to wedge ourselves really good in this slot. Yeah. And then we're just sh firing in there. And then if we can like destroy in this like basically death star this this whole unit actually we don't even want these to be firing because then we're damaging parts that we're likely going to use probably would have been a better idea to go on the other side of it i'm pretty sure purple parts are better than the dark blue these are yeah sixty-four thousand. and these oh never mind the dark blue are our champion those are really good so we're definitely going to win here uh, you know, if you can call it that, uh, here's the problem. We're, we'll 100% make use of all of these weapons. I don't think we're going to make much use of all of the blocks because we don't have enough booster strength to really, uh, you know, push all of that weight. We are actually pushing the whole thing forward. I'm, I'm glad we kind of got away from that dude because he was... He was going to tear us up pretty good. How how hurt are we? Oh, we're fine. Okay, so we managed to destroy those parts. So now we're just destroying this dude. This is going to be great. This is actually fantastic. I've never... I don't think I've ever taken out anything like this robust. We're getting there. It's going to take a while. It's going to take a long time. 3,000, 2,000, there it is, boom! So, uh, how do we want to play this? Well, we definitely want uh, a, a lot of these weapons. Um, hmm. Okay, let's, let's re reconsider our ship design. I'm going to slap on... Uh, enough blocks around the sides that were at least blue on the edges, you know? And we gotta be careful, we gotta be pretty quick here because, uh, likely there are some baddies making their way towards us. We're gonna take these off. We have a green interior, which isn't great. Okay. Um... It's really a dang shame that it didn't have any boosters, but I guess if it did, then we might not have been able to win that battle. Oh god, oh god! Okay, we gotta get out of here. So you can see my mobility is already awful. Uh, I guess I took off all our boosters, didn't I? We're just gonna kinda hide in the rubble here for a moment. Is this a good... Is that a... Oh, that's just another blue one. Uh, let's get rid of that, actually. And put this on instead. We'll get rid of these. Oh, I, did, I shouldn't have done that. That was a, that was a load-bearing part. 
Okay, well, well now well, I, I like symmetry in this game, so I'm gonna take a chance here. I'm, I'm a little bit worried I'm not gonna make it before something really hefty makes its way downtown. But um, you know, you gotta you gotta make time to um, build your ship up. I might just like slap weapons on all, our ship like everywhere. Um, oh god, no! Wow, that guy took us out. 100% took us out. I was really trying to, like, build something there. Almost wish there was, like, a pause feature where you could build your ship. But, um, you know, that's that's how a lot of my Captain Forever games go. So we're gonna, we're gonna have a look at the last one, uh, Captain Imposter, which is very different from the other two in a key feature way click info boy to review message you have survived a sector-wide explosion our system of course have long to the last stomach churning moments of their lives footage is available of request okay so I'm not sure okay here we go press shift So you may notice, yeah, things are, are very different here. I'm gonna... Oof. Okay, there we go, there we go. We want this guy. I might have to turn the music down. In fact, let's, let's do that now. So, um... Captain Forever... It's still really loud. I might have to just turn it off. Okay. Captain Imposter um, differs in that you can't, you, you don't really have the freedom to change your ship on the fly like you usually do. Uh, instead, you take someone else's ship. And you don't really get to, you don't, you don't get to take the, like, the level of the parts. You just take the design. And you're, we're doing as we usually do. We're, we're destroying other ships in, in the hopes to kind of raise our law, um, and raise our, our level. And then once we do, then we'll basically, we'll, we'll get higher level parts of the same design. So, like, you know, this guy... Uh, if I destroy him, I'm, I'm hoping that it's going to raise our level up enough here to kind of illustrate. There we go. So yeah, now we've acquired enough points that if we take on a new form... Oh, I guess it didn't to end up being the, the ship I wanted. Hold on, I'm going to see if I can take this guy. We feel I feel really fast in this game compared to the other captains. So we're still okay. We still don't have. Um, all right, maybe I need to I need to raise our ship a little bit or our, our, our level. No. Okay, hold on. I found successor to be honestly the easiest of the three games in a way, because not having to d worry so much about your ship design. Um, you can see how it'll get you killed eventually. So there we go. Now we have yellow parts and this one. This is awful awful ship design So I'm gonna go find something else There's a red one. Uh, can we yeah, can we grab you? We won't we'll grab yellow parts, but that's fine And there, we have a missile launcher this time Whoa, we're, we're so fast. It's kind of ridiculous. Oh. Trying to take this guy out. Take him out with his own ship design. I wonder if we could just, like, do some damage and then take his form again. Yes, we can. One of the other... Oh, except I... He, he doesn't have any weapons because I blew them off. Fun. Alright, let's take this guy instead. He seems like... At least he has weapons, you know. That's the, That's the main thing. We don't want to die, obviously. There we go. 
Oh, he's got he's got shield as well. Ooh. We have like freedom of movement modules, so that that's really good. We can even strafe with uh, Q and E, which is kind of fun. Um, uh, so yeah, I mean, Captain Imposter is almost like the, uh, I, I think it's my favorite of the three, in a way, because I, I like, I really like the effect of taking someone's form, it's, it's really cool, but also it's a little bit faster paced, and I, you know, it's, it's obviously kind of discouraging when you're like, you spend a while building up your ship, and then it just gets taken out. As you, as you have seen, um, you know it can it can be pretty demoralizing. I don't think I can take this guy out with his own ship. He's he's pretty tough. Okay, let me see. I'm just like hammering away at him here. No, his shield's coming back. Maybe we we can hit him from behind. We, at least we know our shields are strong enough to withstand those missiles, right? Because, well, I guess he's orange. We sh we might be able to take him out here, actually. Yo, dude, you you can you can piss right off, actually. That the, you are way too strong for me. Stop it. Okay. Uh, now we're getting destroyed by that lad over there. Okay, hold on. You know what? Let's take you. You seem like you have some good parts. And also, you're already yellow. So it doesn't matter if uh, we get downgraded. Because we're not gonna... Oh my god. I just want to take this guy out because he's, he's orange. He's gonna give us a lot of points. Ah. All right, all right. Let's let's take you on again. I just want to like he's he's exposed in the back there. I can't I can't really rotate. All right. Uh we yeah, we we've got a good position here. There we go. Finally. Now we're at orange. We can just fly away. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, um, we just passed up a pretty good ship. I want this ship. Purple. It's purple. You know? So now we're orange. We're in, we're in orange mode. I don't, I don't really care for that ship. And it also, it had basically no mobility. This one might be good. Yeah, this is, this is nice. It's a little bit twitchy. Can't really aim too good. Come on. Nothing more satisfying than taking out a ship with their own design. This one's weird, but I actually kind of love it. <laughs> Yeah, I, I love this one. <laughs> it's a... Uh, oh, okay. Oh, that's that one's bad. Like, the ship was fine, but they, they were uh, n not a good ship to, to take if you want to survive the ship itself. Nice thing is you can take on just like any design and it'll basically get an upgrade. Oh, this is this is bad. This is a horrible design. Yeah, that's something. I, I I'm really not doing a lot of destroying. I'm just kind of taking whatever and seeing if how it flies. Ooh. No, that, it didn't really work for me. What about this? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Hold on. One lucky shot is all it takes. I'm a little worried about that guy coming up on us. There we go. Okay, so what what about that other dude? Oh, are we at uh, clone power at echo level? I like this this dude because I love these like freedom of movement parts. They're, they're a lot of fun, and they, it makes it so easy to aim. 
and also dodge. Oh god. If I could turn, then this would be ideal. Actually, maybe he'll turn and then we can just like shoot him. Mm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it. We gotta go find something easier. Oh this is a, this is the perfect one for us to take. Oh except we don't have we don't have any guns. That guy has too many guns. Actually, you know what? Let's take that guy. I'm get, I'm very picky, you know? Here we go. So we should be able to take this guy out. Hmm, maybe not. Well, we are going to take him out, maybe. Uh, okay, okay. Yes! There we go. And I'm going to need a different ship now. Is that one any good? Mm, interesting. I can't really turn. Like, I can only turn. <laughs> this is, uh, this is pretty entertaining to me, actually. This guy has only momentum and, and no actual weapons. Seems like when I move, I, I turn. That's, that's all we do. Well, this is kind of a happy accident, isn't it? Okay. Oh, we're... Yeah, like... Feel free to absolutely throw me in that position, my dude. That was, like, ideal. Oh, I really want that one. Oh, no! I needed something, literally anything, because that guy was going to tear me up. Oh. This is a, a nice ship that we just got. Oh! Oh, we got a nice shot there. Oop. <laughs> we just like absolutely blast their Oh wow. Okay, we got a lucky shot there. We blast their their shields right off. Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. I just wanted to kill this dude. Oh my god. Stop it. Leave me alone. No, you're actually killing me. Stop taking the stupid broken ship. Oh, we died. I can't believe it. Uh, that was a, that was the farthest I got. That was pretty okay. That was that was all right. Okay, well that was Captain Imposter, and that's that's gonna do it for this trilogy. Uh, I'm not, I'm not gonna go to the, I guess I will go to the main menu, but I don't like this, this flashing is probably not great for, uh, anyone involved. Um, but anyway, that's the Captain Forever trilogy, and, uh, it's, it's one of my, my old mainstays, I come back to it pretty frequently, and I'm, I'm very excited for Captain Forever Universe, and, uh, I do hope that it, it gets, um, the, <laughs> the, the level of, of polish and depth that it definitely deserves. Um... If you enjoyed this, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And you can feel free to throw in a suggestion for a spotlight. Um, definitely they fall into the criteria of I liked them. So, uh, you know, your favorite game might not be my favorite, but I'm interested to hear what, uh, you know, games that people enjoy that may not have gotten the, the you know, the level of love that they, they figure is, um, you know, deserved for that game. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.